So today, we are diving into a major expansion happening at Ghana's Kutuka International Airport, where Terminal 2 is finally getting the upgrade it deserves. After years of planning, Ghana's busiest airport is set for a transformation that will increase capacity, improve passenger experience and boost international connections. Stick around as we explore the expansive details of this multi-million dollar edifice, the big changes for both domestic and international travelers and what this means for the future of air travel in Ghana. Also, as always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so as to inform more people. So, the Kutuka International Airport is taking a giant leap forward with the expansion and redesign of Terminal 2. Once the main terminal for international flights, Terminal 2 is now being upgraded to handle both domestic and international passengers. The Ghana Airports Company Limited has confirmed that this expansion is a critical part of their strategy to optimize operations at the airport and make better use of its facilities. Currently, Terminal 2 handles domestic flights while the ultra-modern Terminal 3 is reserved for international travel. But with rapid growth in both domestic and regional air travel, the need to expand Terminal 2 has become urgent. Now, Ghana Airports Company Limited is stepping in to not only modernize their terminal but also to relocate all African registered airlines to this space. Terminal 2 was once the heartbeat of international travel at Kutuka. Before the construction of Terminal 3, all international flights, including those from African airlines like Egypt Air, Ethiopian Airlines and Rwanda Air, operated out of Terminal 2. However, with the opening of the sleek and spacious Terminal 3 in 2018, international operations shifted and Terminal 2 was reassigned for domestic flights. This transition brought with it a new era of efficiency at the Kutuka International Airport, allowing the airport to manage growing traffic with world-class facilities in Terminal 3. The move was hailed as a success, with Terminal 3 setting new standards for air travel in the region. However, as domestic and regional travel continued to grow, Terminal 2 started to show signs of strain. The need for an upgrade became apparent, especially with the increasing demand for African registered airlines and domestic passengers. Now, the Ghana Airport Company Limited's plan is to bring Terminal 2 back into the spotlight by redesigning it for both domestic and international operations. This means not only an architectural facelift but also a strategic separation between domestic and international passengers, ensuring smooth and efficient flow through the terminal. Despite the ambitious plans for Terminal 2, not everyone is on board. The African registered airlines affected by the transition from Terminal 3 to Terminal 2 have expressed strong opposition. They argue that Terminal 3 offers a more modern and spacious environment which provides a competitive edge for airlines operating there. Moving them to Terminal 2, they claim could put them at a disadvantage compared to non-African airlines that will still remain in the newer Terminal 3. These airlines also point out that their passengers pay the same airport passenger service charges as those flying with non-African carriers and they expect the same level of service and amenities. To address these concerns, the Ghana Airports Company Limited is working hard to ensure that Terminal 2 will be upgraded to the highest standards, matching the level of service currently available in Terminal 3. So what exactly is in store for Terminal 2? The redesign will involve significant modifications to accommodate both domestic and international passengers with separate areas for checking, security and boarding. New lounges, improved baggage handling systems and faster security checks will be part of the upgrade to make sure that passengers experience the same level of comfort and efficiency as they would in Terminal 3. The Ghana Airport Company Limited is working on improving the overall aesthetics of Terminal 2, ensuring it matches the modern standard set by Terminal 3. Passengers can expect more spacious waiting areas enhanced retail and dining options and better overall connectivity. With these changes, Terminal 2 is set to become a bustling hub for both regional and domestic flights. Terminal 2's transformation is part of a broader initiative that began in 2018, when domestic airlines operating at the Kutuka International Airport were moved from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2. At that time, Terminal 1 was repurposed for private jet services under Magdan Aviation Ghana Limited, while Terminal 2 
took over domestic flights. Now, the focus has shifted again, with Ghana Airport Company Limited looking to maximize Terminal 2's potential to meet the growing demand of both regional and domestic air traffic. This expansion couldn't come at a better time. With the global aviation industry rebounding and passenger numbers on the rise, Ghana is positioning itself as a leading aviation hub in West Africa. The redevelopment of Terminal 2 will provide the necessary capacity to handle this growth offering a seamless experience for passengers traveling between Accra and other regional capitals such as Kumase, Tamale and Sunyane as well as international destinations across Africa. The expansion of Terminal 2 at the Kutuka International Airport is more than just a facelift. It's a forward-thinking project that will transform the way passengers experience air travel in Ghana. By optimizing the use of both Terminal 2 and Terminal 3, the Ghana Airport Company Limited is ensuring that the Kutuka International Airport remains a top choice for regional and international travelers alike, as Terminal 2 gears up to welcome both domestic and international passengers also. And with the expected relocation of African airlines, Kutuka International Airport is poised to enhance its role as a key gateway to West Africa. The project not only sets to decongest Terminal 3, but also provide a more balanced and efficient operation across the airport. With Ghana's aviation sector growing rapidly, the investments in infrastructure like this multi-million dollar expansion, the future of air travel in the country is incredibly promising. The Kotuka International Airport will continue to as a symbol of Ghana's ambition to become a leader in regional and international air transport. The expansion of the Terminal 2 at the Kotuka International Airport is a game changer for Ghana's aviation landscape. By upgrading the terminal to handle both domestic and international flights, Ghana Airport Company Limited is ensuring that the airport can meet the needs of a growing number of travelers while maintaining world-class standards. What do you think about these exciting developments at the Kutuka International Airport? Will Terminal 2's expansion improve air travel experience or do you share the concerns of the African airlines? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like share this video and subscribe to this channel for more updates on Ghana's infrastructure and travel developments. Also, be sure to check out this video next as it shows other, as it shows other insightful projects happening in Ghana. Until next time, stay tuned for more insights into Ghana's journey to become a regional aviation powerhouse. Be sure to check this video out.